Anne Frank, a name known around the world. This girl's story is one that has been told and retold for years. Luckily, a lot of her story is first-hand information. Anne decided to keep a journal, and from that journal, we hear her amazing story. Annalise Marie Frank was born on June 12, 1929, in Frankfurt, Germany. Her parents' names were Otto and Edith, and they were a very happy couple when receiving their second child, Anne. She had an extremely happy childhood with her parents, her sister Margot, and their cat, Morge. Margot was three years her senior, born on February 16, 1926. The two were very close as children and continued to be close for their entire lives. At the age of four, Anne Frank and her family immigrated to Holland to escape religious persecution. Once there, Anne began attending a Montessori school. Once moving, Anne began to realize how others really felt towards Jewish people. She knew from a young age that a lot of her rights were taken away because of being Jewish. She could only attend Jewish schools, her family could only shop at Jewish markets, and even simple things like bicycles were taken away. Despite this, Anne was a happy girl. She was a fairly good student in school, however, however was not the best at math. She also enjoyed playing ping pong very much. She didn't consider herself to have very many friends, which is one of the reasons she started keeping her diary. She named her diary Kitty and would often write passages in letter form as if to a friend. She did, however, have many boys that liked her when she was around the ages of 12 and 13. One in particular was named Harry Goldberg. He was 16 when she was 13 and was a part of the Zionist movement. Anne and him would often spend time with each other and he was well liked by her entire family. In 1941, Anne must start attending the Jewish high school after the summer holidays. The Nazis didn't want Jewish children and non-Jewish children to attend the same schools by this time. Anne was 12 years old at the time. She bids a teary-eyed farewell to Mrs. Cooperis, who was the head teacher at the Montessori school. About 130 Jewish children left the Montessori school at the same time as Anne. Not long after she got her first school report, the Frank family had to go into hiding. On July 6, 1942, the Frank family went into hiding in what is now known as the Secret Annex. They decided it was time to go into hiding soon after Margot Frank received a letter in the mail, which summoned her to a work camp. The family had planned going into hiding for over a year at this point. Sadly, they had to leave a majority of their belongings, as well as the family cat, Morge, behind. The Von Pell family, who hid with the Franks, arrived a week later. Everyone started making curtains right away so that nobody could see them from the outside. They were extremely careful from this point on. Nobody has any idea how long they will stay hidden for. A bookcase hid the entrance to the secret annex. The hiding place was located in the back of the building at 263 Prinzengrat, which was a building owned by Otto Frank's company. Business as usual continued in the front part of the building. Unusually, the secret annex is rather spacious, as there was enough room for two families. At the time, parents and children going into hiding were commonly separated, and most hiding places were damp and dark cellars or attics. Fritz Pfeiffer joined the Franks and the Von Pels in hiding on November 16, 1942. Anne was happy there were so many people to talk to. However, everyone had to be very quiet while in hiding. They even had to be cautious of when they could use running water, such as using the sink and flushing the toilet. Of course, they also weren't allowed to go outside while in hiding. The risk of getting caught was much too high. One night, Anne took a peek through her curtains. She writes in her diary, I never knew that neighbors could be so interesting. Ours are, at any rate. I've come across a couple at dinner, one family was making home movies, and the dentist across the way was working on a frightened old lady. Emotions sometimes ran high in the secret annex. Everything was pleasant at first, but after a couple of months in hiding, tensions started to arise, possibly from constantly being trapped inside, being limited to activities, and the never-ending fear of being caught. Hiding was especially hard on Anne out of everyone. She missed school as well as her friends. She often writes in her diary about how she wishes to return to school soon. They couldn't have hid for as long as they did without the help of some of Otto's employees. Meep Geis, Johannes Kleeman, Victor Kugler, and Bet Boschedel delivered food, clothing, and other necessities, and kept everyone updated on current news with the war. All four employees immediately agreed to help 
to helping the families, even with the high risks involved. By Nazi law, anyone helping Jewish people hide could be at risk of being imprisoned, deported, tortured, or possibly killed. By August 4th, 1944, it had been a little over two years in hiding. This was the day everyone in the secret annex is discovered and arrested. Somebody had betrayed them. Though there are many conspiracy theories, it has never been historically established who exactly turned the families into Nazi authorities. All eight people in the hiding place were sent to Auschwitz, a notorious concentration camp. Anne, Margot, and their mother are sent to the same barracks. Later on November 1st, 1944, Anne and Margot are sent to Bergen-Belsen, another concentration camp in Poland. Their mother, Edith, stayed at Auschwitz. Anne Frank dies at age 15 in February of 1945, not long after Margot, who dies around her 19th birthday. The exact dates of both deaths are unknown. Otto Frank is the only person out of the eight people in the secret annex to survive World War II and the concentration camps. The diary of Anne Frank was discovered by Meek Geis. She collected as much of the diary as she could, but there were still pages missing which, to this very day, still haven't been found. Otto reads about the plan Anne had to publish a book of after the war about the time she spent in the secret annex, which she wrote about in great detail in the diary. Anne's diary was published on June 25th, 1947, in the, in the Netherlands. Otto received thousands of letters from people who had read and heard about Anne's story. The Anne Frank House, located in the heart of Amsterdam, can be visited to this very day. You may visit the house and see most rooms inside of it. We hope you've enjoyed our telling of Anne Frank's amazing story.